Welcome back to ABC 15 Mornings Alive. Look right there outside University of Phoenix Stadium, 92 degrees. It's going to be a beautiful day to be inside the stadium. Laura will explain in just a few minutes. You know, today the Cardinals step onto their home field for the very first time this preseason. You know, every single player battling to keep their position. That's really what makes this really interesting during the preseason. Former Cardinal David Barrett was a fierce competitor on the gridiron. And, uh, oh. Guess what, my friend? We have video of you. <laughs> Look at that, making a play right there, huh? Am I bringing back some good memories oh, for yeah, you or what? You took me back with that one. Took me I back know. With that one. We're, we're forcing him to smile this morning <laughs> at uh, the 8 o'clock hour here. But you know what? We're going to talk about some of uh, your own ventures uh, that's happening, uh, uh, kind of a game day for you personally today. But uh, I want to talk about... Um, the Cardinals, you know, they're, they they got a lot, of, a lot of players trying to make the roster. They're cutting down to 76 players. I want to ask you, what's it like for those guys trying to make that, trying to make that roster? It's, it's work. I mean, uh, it's something that they, they know they've done all their life, and, mm -hmm. and it's something that comes easy to them. But it's also they have to go out there and motivate themselves to do it every day, day in, day out, to go hard and, and play hard because there's always someone behind you. Who wants to take your job? So you have to be yeah. out there and be on your game at all times. It's a job. I think a lot of people don't realize that. And, you, you know, as we look at video of uh, Carson Palmer, we know those guys are on the roster. We know that he's the starter. But, but, David, when you have the backups coming in, the guys trying to make the team, are the fans really getting a chance to see them going full speed? Well, you know, it's the preseason, so you don't really get to get, get to see that full effect until yeah. the regular season starts up. But uh, as they're out there, you're, you're going to see the full effect of what they're doing, but it's not going to be to the caliber of, of, that you want it to be. Exactly. And as always, the Cardinals have some, uh, some key players. Larry Fitzgerald, of course, uh, just a critical force for the league. You're smiling when I mention Larry. Uh, what kind of role does he play during the preseason? More of a, a leadership role, I take it? Yeah, I would say it's more of a leadership role. He's, he's a veteran, so he knows the game. He's been there. He knows what it takes to get it done out there on the field. So he's going to go out there and motivate his guys to go out there and, and have the best players out on the field to help him out. Is it uh, fun for somebody like yourself who had already made the roster, you've been there, going through these preseason games and trying to educate uh, the younger guys? Oh, that's always fun. I mean, the, the younger guys come in, uh, you know, big bushy-eyed, not yeah. knowing what's going on. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, as they get out there on the field, you know, uh, the, the veterans start showing them the right, right things to do and the right way of, of going and being a pro. What's uh, going to be on the shoulders of uh, Patrick Peterson this year? Oh, boy. <laughs> High hopes of him. Yeah. You know, he's a great guy. Um, he's it, nothing but uh, ability and, and, and skills out there on the field for him. I mean, uh, he has uh, the guy, uh, Terry Matthew, right beside him. So he has yeah. someone he's, he's going to have to pretty much uh, baby and get him into the right effect of being who he is, which is a, a pro. All right, we're going to go from the gridiron to the salon, my friend. Tell me about uh, the salon you're opening. A huge day for you in Chandler. This spa offers everything from haircuts, you got barbers there, you got hairstylists, yes. and even tattoos. Oh, yes, oh, yes. It's all around. It's a one stop shop. Uh, we have everything there. You can come there, get your, get your nails done, get your hair done, get an edge up, you know, get a tattoo, uh, a massage. Wow. Uh, we also have a, a Botox lady who will be coming in uh, oh. at least once or twice a month. Uh, so um, we have threading, you name it. We have it there. So it's a one-stop shop. But now there's the information on your screen. What are the cross streets here? Is that uh, Germain and Alma School? Is yes, that right? it's uh, Germain and Alma School. Yes, and what time? What time are you opening today? Uh, it opens today from 8 to 2. Uh, okay. So come on in and check us out. And you're going to be available there greeting everybody as I'll, well? I'll be there available. Yes, I will. The pressure is on, my friend. <laughs> it is on, and I'm, I'm ready to step up to it. Yeah, well, good luck with you with your new uh, business venture. And uh, I'm sure a lot of people are backing you and, uh, and appreciate you coming in this morning to talk about the business and the Cardinals. He's an Arkansas guy. I'm an Alabama guy. We actually just learned that uh, we played against each other. Oh, back yeah. In the day. So yeah. SEC, baby. SEC. That's right, my friend. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> Thank and, you for uh, having me.